virtual reality, you envision being immersed in beautiful, imaginative places. But without 3D objects to fill them, these places aren't nearly as special. Today, 3D modeling is done on two-dimensional screens, but our world is not two-dimensional, and designing for it shouldn't be either. That's why we built Blocks, a free app for the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift that lets you easily create beautiful 3D objects in no time. Using a set of simple tools, you can insert shapes, move them, paint them, or modify them. Once you've created your model, you can export it or publish it to the web for others to see. To learn more, visit vr.google.com slash blocks. Hello and welcome back to Unite Live at Austin. I am Sarah and this is Will. We're both from Unity and we are joined right now by Ian McGilvery from uh, Google. You're actually the technical lead on Google Blocks. So I am. Hi. I am thrilled to talk to you because I love Google Blocks. <laughs> you guys blew my mind with Tiltbrush and then you did it again with Blocks. So uh, for those of for those of those that who don't know, can you just give a brief overview of, of what the application does? And sure, yeah. So Blocks is our attempt to kind of use virtual reality and kind of like the, the superpowers it gives you. Uh, far beyond just like traditional keyboard and mouse interface to make 3D content creation. I don't even say 3D modeling because people mm -hmm. get scared then if they don't yeah. have the training, but just 3D content creation accessible to anyone. You don't need to be an artist with, you know, some fairly expensive software and, you know, yeah. years and years of training. You can just get right in there, move your hands around and create something that, that looks good and that you actually feel proud of. And so the idea is you want to get everyone able to make 3D models without having to jump into a scary software. Um, how how did that work with like user testing and making sure that it was easy? I mean, I know personally when I tried Google Blocks for the first time, I was like going at it, building like <laughs> trees and worlds. But for people that aren't, you know, in VR every day, it might be a little challenging, right? Yeah. So we spent a lot of time user testing, and we, you know. We really transitioned over the course of the application between how far on the kind of professional features and the power we could offer, you know, trying to match Blender and Maya with all of the, the tools they have available versus what we ended up with, which was a very, very restrictive environment. And I use that in kind of a really good way. So we have, for example, just 24 colors. And people come and say to me, Ian, you weren't smart enough to put 48 in, 96 <laughs> in, come on. Um, <laughs> but really giving this, these limitations and really restricting what users can do gives them a very safe space to work in and means that by default, pretty much any action they take is going to result in something that, that looks good. And also I think the other appeal of blocks is we have this very clear low poly style. Yeah. And so something that will render really well and perform really well in especially VR and AR apps, mm -hmm. but anything where performance is important. But really for us, the, the target that we're aiming for is to make VR and AR you know, successful in mm -hmm. general. And blocks is our attempt to do that on the content side. I think that's my favorite part of blocks is that, you know, for, for someone like me who's not uh, a particularly good artist, <laughs> you know, I can actually make something that, that I'm proud of. And, you know, taking uh, like a restricted uh, palette, so to speak, to, to, um, to work with. Um, like I'm a big fan of a, another product called uh, Magica Voxel. It's like a really simple yep. um, design tool. Um, and it's things like that, like that and blocks that, that just allow people to... Um, really come up with or focus on the idea instead of worrying about like, ah, should I should I texture this thing or should I learn, you know, 3D modeling in, in detail, but then they can just, you know, be expressive. So th the thing I'm interested in asking about it um, is like, you know, for people who don't know, what do you do with blocks? Like you, you design something, you, you sketch it out, what, what can they do with it next? Anything you want, but uh, I'll tell you some of the, the more common use cases that we've seen. So um, we've seen a lot of developers who are interested in rapid prototyping. Uh, and you'll often find at a studio, we even find internally at Google, there's this bottleneck on design resources. You yeah. tend to have a few highly skilled designers or artists who can create you know, anything you can imagine and make it look absolutely beautiful. But if the entire development team is asking them every time they need a placeholder, every time they want to try out you know, an idea, you end up with this very um, slow environment almost. You know? mm -hmm. Or you end up blocking everything out with just you know, the, the simple Unity cube. And I love the Unity cube but it, uh, <laughs> it can't always communicate everything you need. Yeah. And so letting developers get in there early for this rapid prototyping phase, that's been very important for us. Uh, we've seen a surprising amount of games uh, and apps, especially in the AR space, made entirely with Blocks assets. 
because you don't always need that like, beautiful texture map, perfect curves for every application. Sometimes you know you just want to get an idea out there and see how the world responds. The thing that we've seen that we didn't really expect, um, but we're very happy that happened, is we're seeing actually a lot of these professional artists mm -hmm. who we thought well, they'll never use blocks. Why would they use blocks? They've spent eight years learning these tools. They're experts. They've got 10 times the functionality. And now they're using blocks. But now they're using blocks. And what they're doing is they're using it to kind of rough out what yeah. they want and just get their ideas out into the world before they go and spend those, you know, eight hours, 80 hours, 800 hours getting that absolute perfect, you know, little tweak, little bevel, you know, that lighting perfect, just getting their ideas out into the world and then just exporting from blocks in, you know, whatever file formats they like, importing into the tools they're really comfortable with and making those touch-ups. So people can export from blocks into Unity, correct? That's correct, yeah. Right. So we export uh, OBJ, FBX, GLTF. We tried to really find the file formats that would work for everybody. Um, we gave a talk uh, at Unite earlier just about how you can bring all of these blocks models into, into Unity light them nicely, map them nicely, mess with the materials a little bit. Yeah, just to make them more customized, but yeah. everything still has that consistent Google Blocks feel, which mm -hmm. is nice. And another thing I've seen is an <coughs> amazing collection of models on, you guys have, uh, you have a shared uh, place for people to go look at those models, right? We do, yeah. Um, I'm just so impressed with what the community's been making with, yeah. with Google Blocks. Uh, and as you mentioned, the, the consistent art style, so going back to that, like, you know, only 24 colors, right? Mm -hmm. that, that really helps you to take uh, a Google Blocks model made by one artist and one made by, you know, a completely different artist with a different, you know, take on modeling other side of the world and just throw those two things together in a project and they look like they were, you know, made to be together. They look like you got them from the same, you know, asset yeah. pack on the Unity store, right? Uh, and so that's been, been really powerful for us. And our default publish flow, users can always, you know, choose what they want to do is to let people save to the web and put their models out on a Creative Commons attribution license. Okay. Which essentially means you can grab any one of these models, throw them into any game or application, give some attribution to the author, because you know they put some time in, but go ahead and use that for free in your game, in your application. And so we're really trying to bolster just the amount of content you can get created even by someone else, yeah. even if you don't have these VR headsets to use Google Blocks and throw those into your game, your application, and you know. So where exactly can people find these models? vr.google.com slash objects. Okay. Is the place. Pretty, Pretty easy, yeah. yeah. vr.google.com yep. slash objects. Yeah, that <laughs> .google.com is you know, a very fun <laughs> thing to have. <laughs> <laughs> so if people, are, if people are trying to, um, I guess you could even use it for like pre-visualization, right? You can make, mock out an environment or, or do like with the, uh, with the neon demo. You know, yeah. grab a whole bunch of stuff, do a low poly neon demo. Yeah. Um, um, put some post effects on it, make it. Let me fun. give you my, my favorite story that I heard. It's just uh, a couple of weeks ago now. Um, someone's parents' home was uh, decimated in one of the, the hurricanes in, in Texas. You know, very sad story. And they, they reached out to us. You know, they've been using Google Blocks for a little while. And they said, I really want to get my parents just like enthusiastic about this remodeling project because they're pretty down right now. Yeah. And so he, uh, he sketched out their whole like, home like the new floor layout in Google Blocks Whoa. and we even built a little extra feature for him just like a ruler tool just so you could really get the dimensions right and then he put his parents in just like I think it's just a Google Cardboard or something right uh -huh. and said like take a look at what, what the new layout's going to be and just to get them upbeat and thrilled about this that's as amazing to, like, you know, really sad about you know losing cool. what they had yeah um, and so just all kinds of users you know beyond the I want an asset for my game that we're starting to see people do out in the community do you have a favorite model that you've seen created with blocks or like? I'll tell you my absolute favorite things yeah. are the kits people are putting together. Okay. We have no plans for this whatsoever. The community just went out and did this on their own. Awesome. And so we had uh, the, the lead artist for Despicable Me and the Minions movies. Mm -hmm. He's a big fan. And he wow. came in and made these like beautiful kits where you can just drag and drop, say like a whole bunch of, you know, eyeballs and tails and fur <laughs> and you know make your own monster or make your own robot and make these your things. own monster i love and this, it and this is now even more accessible so even if you're not quite feeling confident enough yet to you know place a cube and start messing with it just dragging and dropping a bunch of parts together and making something that looks good as far yeah. so we're really seeing all sorts of content being created with blocks from environments to kits to to characters right yeah, yeah. Uh, avatars for games backdrops for games yeah so for people who want to start using Blocks right now, where can they get it? So we're on the, the Steam store and the Oculus store. We're looking okay. to get on a few more stores right now as well. Uh, it's available for free. <coughs> and really, we just want people to get out there, make that content. Please post about it or you know, tell us. We want to see everything you're making. All right. Yeah. So 
if you have a Vive or an Oculus, you have no excuse. It's free. You need to download it, it's right? It's free. Go and get right. it. And even <laughs> if you don't have the Vive or Oculus, vr.google.com slash objects, at least go and take advantage of what everyone else is making. Exactly. All right. Thank you so much, Ian. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thank you both so much. Awesome.